And when we do, our hearts will be broken. And our hearts will be strangely warmed at the same time. And in the midst of that brokenness, as our pride gradually goes away, you grant us the gift, unasked and undeserved, of a new humility, a new ability to receive the gift of your spirit. Planted as little seeds, but growing to the size of a mustard tree, where birds can roost and mountains be moved. Let our lights so shine among others that you may be glorified. Let us be salt and yeast in those difficult situations where a little bit can go a long ways. Let us, on behalf of your spirit of love and reconciliation, be a voice of sanity, be a voice of calm, be a voice to offset irrational fears, be a voice crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Continue to watch over and keep your servants, especially those who are in hospitals and nursing homes, in rehab centers, recovering from surgery, anticipating surgery. For those on hospice, with the gift of compassion of neighbors and friends, we ask that you be with those who do not yet see clearly what their rest of life might entail. Be with those who are home and beginning their recovery, with those who grieve and have celebrated resurrection life with dear friends. Be with those who continue to give generously from their hearts, from their time, that others might find life. Continue to be with those who are given new strength to join with their seniors, to join with their families, to join in the celebrations of life. We thank you for the gift of a 57th anniversary for the Gurkis. We thank you for our ability to go out and to vote. We thank you for joining us together in prayer groups and to hold us accountable to our prayer partners. Be with those that we lift up in our prayers. For these gifts, we thank you in Jesus' name, who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever.